if you're watching this. I'm dead. I know it's you, Ra's al Ghul. You allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlot streets will not save God's affirming reckoning. Not now! This city is still under my protection. you myself.
you'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the Batcave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Then... Nothing we do is easy. I've prepared for it as best as I can. I know you have too. I'm sorry it's come to this. Take long for Gotham's criminals to realize the Batman is gone. And you can't count on the GCPD. They haven't trusted us since Jim died. You are clear to engage. Grenade! I'm leaving you the Belfry as a base of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And... He was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye.